What is going on, folk? It's Nimblethaw here, and I hope you're having a great Friday today, because I certainly am, and I've been having a lot of fun with this relaxing puzzle game that can be played on both Android, iOS, and in your browser. So the game has over 500 levels, and although it's rather simple to begin with, it quickly does become quite difficult. I'm playing Tiny, which is the first 100 levels, and we're only in level 3 right now. So this is level 3 overall, and it's very easy. But if we move on to, say, go back to the menu, go into levels, into Tiny, if we move on even just to level 10, have a look at this, guys. It starts to get a bit more interesting, right? At around level 15, I would say the game becomes so difficult that you are somewhat forced to figure out how the game actually plays and how you best solve these puzzles because it's just becoming so difficult at that point. Once you get that though, once you sort of get this puzzle and get how to solve it, it then becomes a bit easier again. You guys can see that even though I have played this one already, I'm actually having a bit of trouble figuring out how exactly to solve it. I can certainly see that this one can't be placed over there, so we gotta move that somehow. But right now I can't see where we should be able to move it to because uh, this just doesn't really work out. Oh, I see it now. I think we have to move everything a bit down here. Let's have a look at this. The controls are really simple, by the way, as you guys can see. We simply tap two tiles to have them switch position. Uh, but, uh, but right now I'm actually not really sure how to solve this puzzle. So that's not really helping that the controls are simple. Uh, what do we do, guys? What do we do here? I, I think we're on the right track, though. I have a feeling we're on the right track. It's just we have to move something... Okay, maybe this is it. I have a feeling this is it, guys. We're very close now, I think. Yes, there we go. Look at that. This is why I love this game. You you feel like you're never gonna solve this, and then all of a sudden it just, it just clicks. And, and you just instantly get it. It's so awesome. So what really helped me in solving these puzzles here is starting out with the ones that I can see should be placed on the edge, such as, for example, this one down here in the bottom right now. I hope you guys can see that I'm tapping this one. That's the one I'm talking about because it has one, two, three, four different sides where there are no lines on them. So that means it must be placed down here or... Yeah, actually, this is the only place this one could be placed. And starting out with that might be the easiest way. For example, this one cannot be placed up there because we have a yellow line going out into nowhere. It could be placed here, though, but then we definitely need something like this up there. That would actually fit perfectly as well, so I think that's correct. And I have a feeling like this one is correct as well, and then maybe this over here. Maybe, nope, this one is wrong. This one's wrong for sure. But this one, though, this one fits. So then we have some red going up there, so maybe we have to place this one here. I think we're on the right track here, actually, and maybe... Nope, that's wrong. That's wrong for sure. Uh, what do we... What do we... Play? Oh, this one. Definitely this one. This one for sure. <laughs> and then maybe this. Nope, that's wrong as well. I, I just continue like this until eventually... <laughs> you know, eventually I'll get it. This one. I, I, it's starting to look like something, right? We're on the right track for sure. We just have to figure out... We're so close. We just have to figure out the last few ones. I have a feeling we, we actually got it now. What, what What's looking wrong here? It's looking... Just about correct. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. That is so awesome. What I'd love to see with this game is some working advertisements. For example, it says here that we can get a hint by watching an advertisement, but if I click that one, we're not gonna see any ads because there is no ads available. And that kind of sucks because I would love to get some hints every once in a while. This game can be really punishing and getting a hint would definitely help every once in a while. But we can't do that and I think until the developer is going to update this app, we won't be able to get any more hints. Which I guess just makes the game more difficult, which some of you guys might prefer. But for someone like me who's just a casual puzzle solver, it is nice every once in a while to be able to just get a hint and figure out how to move on instead of feeling completely stuck. I mean, if I've spent a few minutes on this puzzle, I will start to get somewhat frustrated with it and, and I need some help in solving it, but we can't, we can't get that. We can't even pay for it and also we cannot pay to remove the advertisements from the game that appear every once in a while in between levels. And that's probably what frustrates me the most, is that it tells me that there are no ads but then I'm shown advertisements in between levels anyway. I mean, this is a small thing. I still love this game. I'm having a lot of fun playing it, but I really feel like this should be fixed and hope the developer will actually take the time to go and update the app so we can at least enjoy the game, even if we're not, you know, the most smart puzzle solver ever. But apart from that, I feel like it's a perfect indie puzzle game. It looks great, it's relaxing to play, and it will take hours to complete for sure. Even for someone who's, who's good at these types of puzzle games, I'm sure it'll take quite a while for you to solve this game. We are making some great progress here, by the way, and I want to solve this one before we end off with the mobile gaming fact of the day. But before we do that, and while I finish off 
this last part of this level here, which I feel like we're very close to solving now. I would love to hear what you guys' favorite puzzle game on mobile is, and there we go, we solved it. What is your favorite puzzle game? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this one. Let me know as well. And now for the mobile gaming fact of the day, which is that Game of Thrones Conquest has now earned 100 and 25 million US dollars since it released just about a year ago, with 59% of revenue coming from the US, and that is quite astonishing. 59%, so that's nearly 60%, so 60 cent out of $1 spent in the game comes from the US. So it's really popular in the US, not so much in the rest of the world, but have you guys played it? Is it a great game? Are you Game of Thrones fans? I mean, I haven't watched Game of Thrones yet, sadly. I would love to watch it, and I probably will eventually. But so far, I've just been waiting for it to end eventually, so I can binge all of it very, very quickly. That's how I prefer to watch my, my series. But do you watch that show? Do you like that game? Let me know in the comment section down below. And with that said, thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video. I'm still somewhat sick. I don't know if you guys can hear that on my voice right now, but I am. But I still wanted to get a video out today, even here on this Friday, because I really appreciate you guys, and I want to keep up with the schedule. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like if you did, and until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.